Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. So in this video, we'll learn about the basic steps of the soil investigation. So it's a kind of introductory lecture again. So in the previous video, we talked about the borehole depth and the number of boreholes for a soil investigation. So in this lecture, we'll be covering more introductory topics of regarding the soil investigation. So, soil investigation can be summarized with few questions. So, one of the first question is, what are the purposes of a soil investigation? Why the soil investigation is carried out? So, we'll try to answer this question in the upcoming few slides. Then, how do you plan and execute a soil investigation? Then, then how do you interpret the information from a soil investigation? And then how do you report the laboratory and in-situ results? And in the last, what should be included in a soil report? So all these questions will be answered in, the, in this video and in the upcoming future videos. So the soil investigation revolves around all these five questions basically so talking about the purposes of a soil investigation so a soil investigation program is basically necessary to provide the information for design and construction environmental assessment and the process of evaluating a prospective project to facilitate business decisions by the owner. So purposes of a soil investigation can be categorized into three points. The first one is to evaluate the general suitability of the site for the, pro for the proposed project. It means whether the site is feasible for the proposed construction. The construction can be of any type. It can be the building, it can be dam or any construction. So the soil investigation will dictate whether the site is feasible for the subject project or not. Then the second purpose is it enables an adequate and economical design to be made. So it is necessary to carry out the soil investigation to make, a, make an economical design. Then the third and the most important purpose of soil invest investigation is to disclose and make provision for difficulties that may arise during the construction due to the ground and other local conditions. So soil investigation basically provides you the future prediction that how much difficulties can be encountered while constructing the building, dam or any other construction. The difficulties can be can be uh, explained in the form of settlement or uh, seismic hazard or the uh, or the liquefaction phenomena. So all these things can be predicted based upon the soil investigation. So soil investigation uh, can provide you the information whether the building or the proposed construction can encounter the settlement problem or it can encounter the liquefaction phenomena or it uh, or uh, or the construction uh, can have problem regarding the erosion etc etc so so the soil investigation basically advocate or address all these points prior to the construction of the any any uh, building or any structure so the soil investigation is basically carried out in some phases so before discussing the phases let me give you some information regarding the scope of soil investigation so basically scope of a soil investigation depend upon the type size and importance of the structure the client the engineers familiarity with the soils at the site and local building codes so structures that are sensitive to settlement 
such as machine foundation and high rise buildings usually require soils investigation than a foundation for a house. So a client may wish to take a greater risk than normal to save money and set limits on the type and extent of the site investigation. So you should be cautious about any attempt to reduce the extent of a soil investigation below a level that is desirable for assuming the acceptable risks for similar projects on or within a similar ground condition. So the first phase of a soil investigation is called the desk study. So it involves basically the collection of available information such as a site plan, type, size and importance of the structure, loading condition, previous geotechnical reports, etc, etc. So this, this, com this all comes under the regime of the desk study. So this can be considered as one of the soil investigation. So you must have a good desk study prior to the soil investigation. So the second step is to carry out a site visit. So a site visit generally provides a general picture of the topography and geology of the site. It is necessary that you take with you on the site visit all the information gathered in phase one to compare with the current conditions of the site. So your uh, site visit notes should include photographs of the site and its neighborhood, uh, access to the site for workers and equipment. So during the site visit, you you will uh, you need to know the access to the site, how easy it is for the workers to access the site. Sketch of all the fences, utility posts, driveways, walkways, drainageways, drainage system and so on. So utility services that are available such as water and electricity, state of any existing building at the site or nearby. So geological features from any exposed areas such as a road cut etc etc. So you need to assess these things during your site visit. Then the third phase is regarding the detailed soil exploration. So detailed soil exploration uh, is uh, can be divided into two categories. First one is the geophysical exploration and the second one is the uh, ground exploration. So ground exploration comes uh, includes the drilling of boreholes or pits etc. Uh, using different methods. We will be discussing these methods in the upcoming videos. And the first one uh, I discussed about the geophysical exploration. It's a kind of non-destructive uh, investigation program. So it includes like uh, electric resistivity surveys or seismic uh, surveys, etc., etc. So we'll be discussing all these things in the upcoming videos. And then uh, uh, in the phase four, uh, you need to have the laboratory testing. In the phase three, like soil exploration, it includes the in-situ testing as well. And the phase four in, uh, in, involves the laboratory testing, how much laboratory testing will be conducted on which samples and which type of tests are to be conducted comes under the regime of phase four, basically. And then comes the writing a report. So how to write a report, all these things will be discussed in the upcoming videos. And then soil exploration program, uh, how the soil exploration program is prepared and how, uh, how many questions you need to be answered while preparing the soil exploration program. So the first one is you need to determine the extent of geophysical exploration. So while preparing the soil exploration program, you need to have idea about the need for the extent of geophysical exploration uh, either the geophysical exploration is required or not so you need to assess this phenomena as well then the preliminary location of each borehole how you will program uh, the location of borehole for the site so it depends upon the type of the project it depends upon the type of building or uh, type of loading etc etc so we'll be discussing these topics in detail as well 
then numbering of the boreholes or test pits this uh, this point has been discussed in the first video, first video of soil investigation so uh, again uh, how the depth is planned for each borehole has also been discussed in the previous video then the methods and procedures for advancing the boreholes so which methods can be adopted for the uh, for drilling the boreholes uh, these will be discussed in the next videos and then comes the sampling instructions how the samples are prepared or collected from site while uh, while soil exploration and then uh, determining the need for and the type of in situ test which type of uh, uh, site tests are required to be carried out for the particular uh, project then the requirements for the groundwater observation so all these things you need to have in your soil exploration program then the soil exploration method so in the next video we'll be discussing about the soil exploration method so uh, in the start we'll be discussing the theoretical concept of the soil investigation but with the time uh, we'll try to learn some design procedures for foundations for shallow foundation for deep foundations etc etc so i hope uh, if you like the video don't forget to subscribe and share thank you and uh, allah hafiz